I don't have room to record anything, apparently. It tries, and then it shuts off, so I may not be able to do anything. I thought I should, or maybe I just forgot to press the button, so we'll see. I pressed it this time. So I'll start again in case people didn't hear. This is Synthwave, Space Wave Mix, Journey, Royalty Free Copyright Safe Music by White Bat Audio, Permission by Carl Casey, which I really, really like on this as the background music for when I'm doing things. It always seems to have an energy to it, which I like. And if it's too dancey, I get going and I don't get anything accomplished. So it's always good to have that kind of mixture. And, you know, I just put on something that's gonna run for a while, which is good. It's just terrible lighting. I can't, I can't find a way to get good lighting to save my butt. But I try working on it and... Sorry, my friend Karen just sent me a message because I, I sent her a link to... We were looking up something on wasps and unfortunately that kind of took me to um, a metal version of a cover of WAP, W-A-P, which, you know, I'm not gonna go into it if people don't know what it is. But it was so funny, it's from a year ago and I just discovered it now accidentally. So I sent her a link, so she just, she just sent me back a response that she had got it and enjoyed it. So people wanna check it out. I can't remember, unfortunately, the name of the channel that had it. Although I might be able to look it up. I don't know if I can look it up while things are on. Usually I end up shutting everything down by trying to do things like that. Okay, so that's, that's it for my basic stuff there. I'm going to now Draw on some eyebrows and see where the face takes me. So I take my, my little slant brush and I'm gonna pop into some brownish color here. You can tell the ones I do this with because they're the ones that end up with the little gouges in them. And I'm just gonna see where I want that eyebrow to be today. You know, and determine sort of how big I want it. It's not too bad because I'm just sketching them in at this stage anyway. It's not the end of the world if they're not exact. It's eyeshadow will wipe right off if I wanted to. <laughs> but I am. Um... <laughs> she finally got it. She got the the part with the cat. Those are a strong brow. I don't usually do such a strong brow. So we're gonna see what that's like today. And I'm not gonna go under it with my white. Oh, and she told me to have fun tonight. Well, thank you very much, Karen. I'm going to endeavor to do my best. That is the point. So I'm just gonna go under with this. Cause I don't need my intense white, white under here, I don't think. But 
this just adds a little highlight to the under the brow. Now, one could go in and totally block these brows. Apparently, what you do, and I say apparently because I've just been watching this, you put your light light color under here, and you put just like your regular highlight color over here, and that way you're not blocking it out with one solid color. You still have some light and some dynamics and. I haven't really played around too much with that, but I do know that that is something that people do. And this is not about the perfection of anything. This is about having fun and enjoying yourself. If I was trying to be perfect, I, well, that's an uphill battle that I would not be able to win. And I'm not even going to bother to try. But I will absolutely do my best to enjoy myself and be the best person that I can be. Which means I make mistakes, I am fallible, and I learn from them, and I improve. But at no point do I ever expect perfection from myself or anyone around me. So that is where that is. Now, hmm, do I want to go in first with some contour and develop a little face shape here? I think so. So I'm going to start with my lightest color here and see where I want that to go. I tend to jump right in and do things much bigger than I want instead of taking the time to build it up. So today might be a more of a Build-A-Bear project. See, I, I I have shadow on this side and I have things on this side. I kind of need the camera here and it's just not good, not good. But what can I do? What can I do? Okay, I'm going to come in here with this. I hear Denis getting ready. It's going to be exciting. We don't usually go out that often to together to the same things. It's awesome. I'm really looking forward to this. I think I'm going to do a little even darker there. I'm not entirely unhappy with that. So that's a good starting place for now. And so now it's going to be a matter of I think, do I want the light oh, light tone center. Let's see. I need to sharpen my my white. Dump down the garbage. Oh, 
and hopefully I don't muck up my my white from that with the black that was just in there. It could happen. I'll do. Yeah, not bad. It's as sharp as I need it to be for what I'm doing. I'm just gonna wipe it on this pad to make sure that it's clean. Should have done my face first. My, my. Oh, I'll use this as this. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna sharpen that a little, and soften that a little, and take my brush and blend that in. Excuse me. Because I'll probably want to do a mid-tone first and then cut the crease or something with this bright. But we'll see. I've never done that before where I put the white on there first and then nothing else. So let me find a mid-tone. And I'm going to, of course, use my I Love the World palette. And if I had something gray, I think I would like something gray. But I don't see a gray. There is a taupe that may do. We are going to see. I don't think I've used that color yet, so we will see what that color is. I think that's a decent sort of mid-tone. It's almost like a like a really soft mushroom kind of color, which I kind of think is really cool. It, it's actually, it's neither cool nor warm. It's very neutral, which I think is handy. There's only so many neutrals. A lot of times I get colors like this and they're either too yellow, like too gold, too ashy. I don't know if you can see it very much, but it is a very soft neutral that I like and appreciate. And so I'm going to take this color that's right beside it. very nicely together, which is awesome. Let's see, can I build it up even more? Maybe pack it on, use a little packing brush. See if I can make different makeup faces than the, the ones that my body wants to automatically do. And I'm just going to take this brush.
if I just want to go in with black, I think. I mean, I'm wearing black, but do I want to just put black on? So if I just build up the color layer, we'll see where I want to stop. same way. Okay, go back to Mushroom. Now, I don't know if that's what the color's called. That's what I'm calling it. They don't actually have names on them. I'm sure they came probably having colors, but that's not how the palette works. Okay, and then it was the one beside it. some kind of powder to put down on my face. So I think I'm going to start with my translucent powder. Which is good. Yeah, I'm wearing black and I, here I am putting powder on it. Some powder time. You can see it, but I got it all down me. That's the way, eh? Don't I look ghostly? Ghostly. plan is to wear things over this so it's not so bad but I'm not going to grind it in and see if I can brush it off because my hands would just make it worse yeah, it's something because you know, it's time to brush it off the face
Okay, now I want to make these, no, not my Epic Eyeliner. I'm going to use my Lift and Snatch if I can find them. There's one. And it's the NYX Lift and Snatch. Because I like doing that for the individual hairs in the brows. I don't know if you can see what this does, but it really does make little individual hairs in your brows. And it's a very, oh, unless you dot it right along, yeah, sometimes I hit too far that way. Because I don't like it dead on. That doesn't seem to work for me. So I want like a 45 degree angle. That's kind of what I'm going for. Is a 45 degree angle. When I'm doing this. Because if I cut the angle sharper. It ends up putting a glob right on my skin. But see. Can you see the difference between the two? That's why I think it's kind of important. But you know, you don't have to, but you have to remember like your eyebrows are gonna sweat right off your face. So this kinda makes sure there's something that stays there. If I was some kind of, you know, performer, you know, trying to do this, I'd probably have to really put them on heavy duty. But I'm just doing it to go out to a dark bar to do some karaoke. So, not the end of the world. No matter how I slice it. And if you make a mistake with this stuff while it's still wet, you can just wipe it away. But when it dries, it's nice and secure for a while. It's why I like this product. Okay, so I am happy with those. It will do. So now I think it's time to do a little eyeliner of sorts. So that's where I'm going to go back to my. Oh, that's my little and snatch. There it is, my epic ink liner. Because this does very fine. sections. So if I want to do something really tight down there, that works so much better than my coal liner. And then I prefer my coal liner for other things. So I take my coal liner and that I will do underneath, the, like on the waterline. Oh, great. I didn't let that dry first, but that's okay. I'm gonna put something there anyway. Just 
because I still want to go back and put my white there. Coming up to like 28 minutes of doing this, I have discovered that the phone recording will stop at about 33 minutes and 6 to 8 seconds, and then it will come back. Oh, I'm sure I buried my, my fans. Here we go. Um, and it automatically starts around two. So this all is automatically round one if I end up taking longer than that, but it will just automatically do it on its own. So I think it might be in my best interest now that it's 29 minutes to just stop this where it is and purposefully start a part two. So I will welcome everybody back to part two.